The following program is made possible by generous gifts from partners of Benny Hinn Ministries and viewers like you in this area. Say out loud, Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son you of rose God. From the dead. Cleanse me with your blood, and I am born again. Pastor Benny Hinn is urgently preaching the gospel to the lost because the world's only hope is salvation through God's only Son, Jesus Christ. The gift of God is life eternal. This is your day to join Benny Hinn in proclaiming Jesus as Savior and Healer. This is your glorious day for a miracle. Absolutely. Listen, divine favor is here. And today we're going to have a fantastic program. You see, Dr. Janet Macaro is with me. Lots of different vegetables. Yes. And what we're going to talk about today, health, health, health. We're going to be healthy. Good news from God's pharmacy today. Hey, I love that. You know, I think that people would like to know who you are. How did you get into all this? Why? Into nutrition. You're a doctor, of course. Yes. What well, happened? I was the patient before I became the doctor, and many times that's why people get into the, their current professions, because they had to walk through What it. What happened to you physically? Like? Very, very sickly child, always at the doctor. I had hormonal problems. I had surgeries. I had strep. I had Epstein-Barr virus. My immune system basically was just kaput, and so I was very, very ill, and so I regained my health by... Kind of, I stayed with the medical profession who didn't do much for me. They just said, we'll give you antibiotics, we'll give you this, we'll give you that. But I turned to God's pharmacy. And you know what? You're a Christian woman. I you am. You believe in miracles. Today I do. we're going to believe God to really heal you. At the end of the, of the program, the doctor and I will pray that the Lord will heal you today. Yes. But also to show you how to stay healthy. You know, like we were talking about earlier, what began to bother me is how many people I have run into who have come and said, well, Pastor Benny, we were healed in your crusade. Yes. Such and such a year. And now we have something else wrong with us. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know what? God's people need to stay healed. Yes, they do. And this is probably how, well, maybe this is well, one way how. Well, it's one way, and they have to be proactive. They, they can't get lazy either. God gave them the healing, but doesn't mean, hey, go and eat toxic things and processed things and refined things. Okay, now you have eat, a tomato that's, eat from that's his cut garden. in two. Yes, let Why? me show you. Okay. What, what, what do you want to show me about Good that one? Good news from God's pharmacy. Okay, okay let's go. Here we I'm go. Ready. All gonna, right. And you're going to surprise me, you I'm said. Good. Oh, am I going to surprise you, ready. mister? Okay, okay pastor. <laughs> hey, call me mister. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Now, Suzanne should have been here today. She would have loved this. Oh. Well, no, you know, she, she's really into this. I uh, remember her that she is. into this, yeah. Yes. Okay, now, all right, even before the written word, God knew. I mean, he gave us signs and clues in nature that would, would help us heal our bodies by simply choosing the fruit or vegetable that matched our organ systems. For example, here's the tomato. Here's the tomato. Okay. Okay. It has four chambers, just like your heart does. Uh, you know, I have never paid attention you to see that, that, but you're and right. Okay. the heart. Okay, the, the tomato is full of lycopene, which is a wonderful antioxidant that is very, very good for your cardiovascular system. How? It just is. It helps the circulation, helps the blood pump. It's an antioxidant. Now, they say, but, the but they say that a tomato mm -hmm. would do you better if you cook it. That is true, too. But I'm telling you, we're, today I'm teaching you about what God put in the ground Showing so if you, we eat it without cooking it, that, that's fine. You could, oh yeah. Still, yeah. it oh, will sure. still benefit a, our bodies. I am Italian, so I'm the first one to tell you tomato sauce is wonderful for you. You do not look. Uh, Italian, I am at all, okay, very much you. so. Oh, wow. So I'm telling that's why you, all the movement, yeah, that's right? like a, okay. very animated. Okay, okay like so I'm just that. telling you that you see, this is good for your heart. So that hence the chambers. Okay, now watch the next one. This is very cool. Now, that's the carrot. Our grandmother, okay. my grandmother at least, and many more, have always told us that carrots are good for your eyes. Uh, that's correct. Okay. You're absolutely right. All right. Now, if you look closely, you're going to see there's an iris, a pupil, I see and that. radiating I lines. See that. Do you see it? Okay. okay. So, anyway, what happens is the, car the carrot is rich in beta carotene, and beta carotene is like vitamin A, retinol, which feeds the retina of the eye. But not organic vision. only or also any other? Now we go to, well, you know, back in the day when our parents, you know, 
any any carrot would do. But now I I lean more towards organic. They they ate organic. Of course but they But now, did. you know, we try to do as organic as much as possible. But I'm telling you, a rich source of beta carotene are carrots. So this is good for the, the tomato, it's good for the Match heart. Match it up. Match it up. And the eye. And I mean, the, that's your, your eye. your eyes, okay. That looks With just the like it. Okay? Now, now you've got a whole lot more here. You've got more. You ready? I'm ready. Sweet potato. That's as big as your pancreas. Okay? Never thought about that. <laughs> okay. I bet you didn't. No, nope, I have not. <laughs> Just make sure my jacket suit? stays no, 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 clean, no. I, clean. That was Thank a concern. <laughs> okay, it is as big as your pancreas. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and it's also been proven to help balance your blood sugar, keep the glycemic index really? normal. Really? Wow, yes. I did not know that. Very, very good. You, you see? know, I've had many doctors here. I don't ever remember hearing About that. About diabetes. Yes. We live and learn, don't we? Wow. See? Okay, pancreas, good for blood sugar. Okay, the, the yam. Okay, now... Celery, what does it resemble to you? Uh, you tell me. <laughs> okay, not to ruin your suit. Oh, no, please, okay, thank you. Look, see the bone, the long bones? That's correct. Leg, okay, very good for your bones. The minerals, very good for your My bones. My mom always uh, said to me that uh, mm -hmm. celery helps you sleep. Yeah, from the... You from eat the, it, why? Yes, it has minerals in it, magnesium. Wow. The mineral content, yes, very good for I, you know, calm, I used to have calming trouble you down. Sleeping years ago, and my mm -hmm. mom said, "Start eating this." And I mm -hmm. and lettuce, celery juice, yeah, lettuce. at mm -hmm. night. So I would eat these and the uh, lettuce, and I guess it did. I help wonder me. how you do all that you do. I tell you. Okay, so this amazing. this this helps. So like the bones. long bones, uh huh, yeah. How? The why? Mineral, why? The mineral why? content. Okay, your bones What's in need it? minerals, magnesium. Okay, magnesium is in celery. Okay, okay, so wait, wait, wait. Let's not rush that. No. Let's not. Okay, so yeah, the the tomato no. is for heart, the heart. Heart, eyes. Eyes. Okay. Here. Yeah. Pancreas without Pancreas, touching the suit. Okay. okay. And bones. Okay. All right. Okay. What else? Now, okay, the walnut. Okay. Looks like your brain. Yes, it does. Okay. Except it's quite small. Yes. No. <laughs> Yeah, it's quite small. And I don't have but, a small brain. Right well, I you. don't think you do. <laughs> but but watch, it does look like the brain. And it's rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which is very healthy for brain function. So if you open a walnut, and your crew was so happy, so generous to help me. How did you how did you guys even open this? I mean, <laughs> that's like really we tough. tried <laughs> many different now. I'm asking my camera guys, how did they open <laughs> this? Okay. Okay. So if you look, you see how they come apart? Yes, they it's do. There's two hemispheres, the right and left hemisphere, just like your brain. Isn't I that have amazing? never, ever thought about isn't, a walnut uh, yep. matching my brain. Isn't okay. that, yeah, I'm telling easy. you, I, but it's, it's like. And, and how does it help? Okay, omega, it's like, it's got fatty acids, and fatty acids feed the brain. I read somewhere that, that walnuts are great for the heart. Oh, they are too, but I'm just trying to show you how God made these foods with what, you know, the omega-3 fatty acids to feed the brain, it looks like the brain. And what does the it carrot. prevent? Like, would it pre prevent any sickness in the brain or not? Well, yeah, well, it'll keep your cognitive function. Can I eat well, it? Well, well, sure you can. Wow. Good for concentration, yeah. focus. Tastes nice, yeah. by Yeah, wow. uh, anti-inflammatory. Remember, uh -huh. infl inflammation is, is, a, is the enemy. They're finding in all diseases inflammation. We've got to keep that down. And, and foods from the plant kingdom are very important for keeping inflammation down. Explain inflammation. Oh, my goodness. Ouch. That's it in no, a I word. About, well, Ouch. Well, I mean, you want to eat foods. All of these foods here will help alkalinize your system. And if you're alkaline, you're more likely not to have pain in the body. The more acid you are, more pain. So what we want to do is we want to drink plenty of water, eat very, a, a, a fine, you know, big array of but alkalinizing But what, what, what causes your body to get inflamed? Like well, what foods? Okay. Well, first of all, refined foods, sugars, cakes, pies, donuts, fried foods, fast foods, mm. all those things. Stress, okay, causes inflammation. 
And you said about gluten, too, that it's not good. Yes. Because? It's the way that wheat is made these days. It's refined. It, it's an irritant, and we can't digest it well. So and it's it, fine in breads and right, and pasta cereals, and, and pastas, and all The pasta all the cookies, my grandmother whatever. made was wonderful pasta, but I couldn't eat it. Do, they, do they add that in there, like the gluten? It's the, is it? It's the, yeah, wheat gluten. It gives it stickiness and Yeah, but I mean, do they put it in, right? It. Yeah, it's part of the, yeah. Because you see today in some stores it says, like, you know, gluten-free this and gluten-free mm -hmm. that. It's but usually, there's no taste to the stuff. It's That's a little bit, I know it. But you I mean, know I've what? I've had some cereals that's, you know, <laughs> gluten-free and it tastes like, man, like rubber well, or something. Well, you can move on to other foods. That's what I tell people. You don't have to have breads and, and, you know, all those doughy things anymore. Move on to the fresh fruits. You know, once you start doing this, your body will crave okay, this. So okay, so now, now you've got some beans here. These are actually kidney beans. Okay. Take a look. There you go. Why do they call them kidney beans? Kidney beans, because they look exactly like your kidney. And you're talking Italian right mm -hmm, now. Exactly. Kidney. I lo kidney. Say that again. Kidney beans. That's it. I love it. <laughs> That's so right. they look like your mm -hmm. kidney, and they're mm -hmm. good for your kidney. They're good for. The, they help you fill your kidneys filter. There's a substance in there that actually helps the body substance. filter. Substance. What substance? Mm -hmm. It's a. It's a actually an antioxidant um, and a diuretic effect that they have and actually helps clean the kidney, kidneys and make them hey, doctor, better. Hey, Doc, you're really good at this. I'm trying to be. <laughs> no, you are. I'm trying so, to be. So kidney beans for kidneys, yeah. and they help what? They help the, the kidneys stay clean, flushed, working, wow. the tubules, everything else just... Yeah, I mean it's... So bean soup is really great. Imagine oh, having these kidney beans. Our grandmother's knew some, bean soup is good. Yeah, put like some kidney beans with mm -hmm, some tomatoes, carrots, carrots all see? this stuff. Okay. Fix it all now up. Now we're moving to the other. Let's go. I'm thing. ready. You okay. ready? Yes, ma'am. The next one is. You, you, you said you're going to really surprise I am. me. I okay. Hope. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. The avocado. Okay. Okay. Very, very good for it. Well, it has, you know, um, fatty acids in it. And it's, that's good for everything. But what I found and out. And it's the good fat in there. The very good fat in right. there. Right. It's also exactly the shape of a woman's womb. Okay. Wow. Exactly. So I did a cross section. And interestingly enough, it takes nine, this is the little seed here from which the plant grows and blossoms into fruit. It takes exactly nine months from blossom to fruit, just like it does when we have a baby in our womb. It takes nine months to be born. Wow. Isn't that interesting? So how does this help so the So this, the, the properties in an avocado help the, the woman's womb stay healthy during pregnancy and after. How about that? Really? Mm hmm yeah, but how much of this, I mean, how many of them do they Oh, I'd say everybody. During pregnancy. I would I say mean. one a day would be great to have. But it really. And how you, does it help? If you re it's, got a, it's got fatty acids. It's got everything to help the lining of the womb, the, the, the tissue of the womb. And actually, it says it helps. The healthy fats help you shed post-pregnancy weight. So how about that? Wow. But it's nine months in either case. Is okay, that interesting? Next my, my daughter. Tasha or Jesse are get pregnant, we're going to make sure to remind them. Yep. Okay, here we go. The next one, we cannot leave out the men. <laughs> we're talking about figs. Yep. Okay? Oh, I didn't see the figs. You're, right. I thought You're going that to was see them now. <laughs> you know what? I put that walnut here. You're going Goodness, wrong place. You're, it going to see, here. you're going to see the figs now. Okay, dear, figs, I'm ready. Figs generally, we didn't get fresh ones. We had the dried ones brought in. But figs normally hang in twos. Oh, brother, <laughs> God, how about now? <laughs> they normally <laughs> Are you sure you want to Do you know we, talk about this where on this are we program? Going? <laughs> Please, lady. <laughs> this is food. We're talking about food. You are. Okay, so figs normally hang in twos. And so they are healthy for the men's reproductive system. Wow. Okay. And it actually helps men's, the motility of sperm, so that it helps them be more able to uh, have children and so well, forth and so on. For me, my dear. You know anyway, what I mean? Thank you. But I'm telling you, it's just okay. equal. I had to be equal. Okay. You're right. There we go. And so in nature, I mean, God provided everything. I'll tell my sons in law. So then, okay, that's what we have. I mean, that's an example. There's so many more. That, that God has done. I mean, he has made so many things. So these foods, like, you know, there's, <laughs> but there's other foods, of course. Right. Why did you choose only these? I choose the, well, these are my favorite ones because they, they demonstrate it so 
perfectly. You know, I mean, honestly, I never thought about the four chambers. Yeah. And the tomato and the, and the eyes. eyes Look and at the that. carrot and the kidneys for but the kidneys. But if you put them the all together. Brain here yeah. and the wal but walnut. If, but if you put and it all. And the bones here. Go ahead, dear. If you put it all together, you have a wonderful meal. You well, you most very certainly do. Healthy wow, I don't meal, life-giving, and you know, figs in there, but, anyway, well. go ahead. <laughs> but think soup. about this. Here's something to really remember. Okay, the Chinese believe that life replenishes life. Mm. Okay, they okay. say that. I love that saying, because what's going to make us well? This is live, live food, and that live food is going to replenish our life. So always eat fresh. If it doesn't rot or sprout, do without. We're going to be a lot healthier for it. Say that again. If, if it, it does not if rot, it doesn't rot or sprout, or sprout. Do, without. do without. Wow. So, and again, life replenishes life. So anybody out there. So what there, do you think about meat? I mean, we, are, I you, are you okay with eating meat, I'm chicken? okay. I'm okay with all of that. I say that. To a point, I suppose. To a point. I'd say more, do more of this and less of the meat. You know? So this year, let's focus more, more on, on the, the plants. Okay. Mm -hmm. But but still, we are told that it's not enough mm -hmm. because they don't have the nutrients that That's our right. grandparents had when they ate a tomato. Correct. So we need supplements. Right. What supplements? Well, I like to do fatty acids, so you know, omega-3 fatty mm -hmm. acids in, in the forms of gel, you know, gel capsules. Um, I take CoQ10 every day. For the heart? Because, for my heart. There's okay. heart disease in my family, so you better believe I'm going to take that. They're saying some, it's just like they're discovering some amazing things with C. Oh. Vitamin C, like Linus Pauling you know, did I, almost. I was watching, I was watching mm -hmm. a, a, a program called Food Matters, mm -hmm. and these doctors talked about, and by the way, if you have not seen this, Precious Saints, mm -hmm. please get it or download it on iTunes or one of them or mm -hmm. Amazon. It's called Food Matters, also mm -hmm. on Netflix, if, if, if you have net, mm -hmm. Netflix in your home. Vitamin C what is, is what, Well, what they said is that they're actually treating people with cancer. Yes. With vitamin C, like a lot of it. My daughter had it, IV. Yeah. Really? Yeah, and I brought it, it to It actually works clinic. rather than chemotherapy. Well, it, well, you know, what it does is it helps. It's an it's a antioxidant. And so cancer can't live in an oxidant, you know, an ox like in other words, you want to bring oxygen into the body, you know, and oxidative stress is an enemy of cancer, so you want to do an antioxidant like. And the immune system, you know, mm -hmm. being strong is oh, yeah, so vitamin C. important mm -hmm. with C and others. Okay, oh, just yeah. keep going yeah. on the on the supplements. I do though. selenium. I do selenium every day. Uh, what 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 food gives us selenium? By mm, the way, mushrooms. Mushrooms will give you what, selenium. What kind of mushrooms? I do the, well, I do a lot of portobello. No, no, but, like if you, if but the you white ones, the, you know, the regular white ones that okay. we all use, they have selenium, so does the portobello. They discovered in Israel recently that mushrooms can actually help with preventing cancer. That's right. They're, they're doing uh, uh, experiments up in Galilee on that. Yeah, they have, there's also the ones I call the power mushrooms, the shiitake, the mataki, and the rishi. Those three are, are called the power mushrooms, and they are anti-cancer. Even mint, uh, now they're finding out that mint is potent. See, God gave us all of you this. You know, like uh, there's drinks you can get now yeah. that I drank, uh, that I drank uh, in Israel. I love mint. I Where grow you do mint. the mint. Yeah. And it actually cleanses the body and yeah. helps you with Im and parsley. immunity. Mm -hmm. You know what you should do every morning? I'm telling you, it would really help you. Juice mm -hmm. celery mm -hmm. with a carrot. carrot. And you know what I do? I do parsley with that. Yeah. So I take the salad. Well, I have the celery, mm -hmm. carrots. Yes. And I have the parsley, and I put an apple, apple with it, and that it. cleanses your system. It does. And so the parsley do gives it. you a clearer head too. Have you noticed? Parsley clears the head. I did not know about the head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So mm -hmm. it gives you a clearer brain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, honestly, start this this year. Yes. 2014. Or every morning, get get a juicer, buy a yes. you know from a from your store, yes. any store, you know, and then go go ahead and and juice the celery, the carrot, and the parsley, and the apple, just to give it a little sweet. And you sweetness. watch your your health will turn around. You are going to see yourself really come alive. Yeah, because it will cleanse your body, detox, all that. And, and you know, God made us. Our bodies self-healing you know, vessels. People ask me, how is it that you can travel the world? That's right. I have not been sick to, to, you know, to God's glory, really, in years. I don't even get a cold, hardly. Mm -hmm. 
and I go, 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 go. Yeah. I think it's not just the anointing. I think it's that I, I learned early in life mm -hmm. that I need to really stick with the nutritional. You do. And I take my vitamins, but I also juice in the morning. Very good. And every day, in fact, I, I, I take all of my, like the fruit mm -hmm. I like, like a lot of mm -hmm. berries, strawberries, all this. Yes. Uh, apple, I put them in the blender mm -hmm. and I just mix them together. So I don't okay. have to eat them because right. eating them takes longer. Too much, yeah. Just put them in there and just, you know, not juice, just blend. And you know, you're very And good. I put my vitamins with them. I put yeah. my powdered vitamin. Okay. And the C in them and I just drink there it. There you go. Every morning I do that. Isn't that something? But you, you know, know, it keeps you healthy and keeps this you is part of This is part of, we have a ministry here. I mean, this is keeping, Look, you, you know, know. I saw Catherine Kuhlman, yeah. a woman that God used powerfully to touch many lives and mine also, die at 69 years yes. young with a heart disease, with a heart problem. She did not have to die. No. You think about, you know, Jack Coe, who was a healing evangelist, died at 30 something years years old no. in his early 30s he, he didn't have to die a.a no. allen you know passed away when he was young mm -hmm. he he didn't no. have to die a lot of them died early oral died you know at the right age mm -hmm. because he did the same thing i'm talking to yeah. you about. i will never forget being in his home and he was taking his vitamins i said well doc i said what are you taking he says i don't know yeah. i said well you don't know what pills you're taking yeah. he was taking his vitamins mm -hmm. he said no he said, I, I'm taking what, what Evelyn told me to take. Isn't and nice? Evelyn, before she died, yes. she, of course, for many years, she yes. would give him his vitamins. Yes. And he still took those vitamins. After she was gone, he there would still go. take the same vitamins his wife gave so him. So tell me that they're, they're wrong about what they're saying about vitamins. No, no, you listen, listen it works. It works. It it and, you, and they fill in the nutritional gaps. So here, God that, you know, used people like Ms. Kuman and others who died early. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't want you dying early, no. okay? Live long. With long life will I satisfy him. And, you know, think about what God has promised us. But how can we, and, you know, you see people who've been healed in our meetings. Yes. And then they get sick again with something else. We want you to I live. I think it's because of this, frankly. Longer, better, and forever. That's our job. That's what we do on the earth, you and me both. We try well, to teach people to I live like longer, to better, and forever. Well, doctor, listen. You have a lot of this mm -hmm. in, in, on these CDs. Yes, okay, I now do. Now, don't go away because we want to pray with you that God will give you a healthy year mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Yes. What's on this? First of all, you're going to see some of these foods, but scientifically why they do work okay we just kind of gave you a little smattering today of okay. things in depth but scientific studies about why a plant-based diet is very very good for you to do all right okay different ailments um what they you know why they work what you need to do if you are ill and the third one goes into pain of any kind that you're suffering with listen and you can have the three cds mm -hmm. For a gift of $35, make sure to get this. You can call the number on the screen. But first, let's pray for God's people. Father, in Jesus' name we pray this will be the year. Divine favor and health in Jesus' name. Now, Lord, Dr. Janet and I agree today yes. for divine health for your sweet people. That, Lord, sickness will be canceled and health will be a reality in Jesus' name for them and loved ones. For your glory and honor. Amen. amen. And the people said, amen, amen, amen. Listen, you can go to our website, benihin.org, and get all this and a whole lot more. My goodness, our time is gone. Please yes. come back. Let's do more, more of this. Do this more. is fantastic. There's so much. There's a, there's a pharmacy from God that we need to talk about. Well, listen. We're He's gonna, got a big me medicine cabinet for he us. He does. Let's be healthy. Stay healthy in Jesus' name. And remember, your greatest days are ahead. Love you. Bye-bye. Good news from God's Pharmacy is nutrition expert Dr. Janet Macaro's intriguing exploration of our Creator's grand design of the foods we can and should eat. Based on scientific research and personal experience, this three-CD series will teach you how to understand food's impact on specific body parts, boost your immunity, use food to safeguard against disease, conquer pain naturally, regain your health one bite at a time, and much, much more. 
Dr. Janet's 25 years of experience will help you learn how the right foods can be powerful medicine for the cure and prevention of illness. Good news from God's Pharmacy can be yours for a gift of $35. Call or order online today. Dr. Joel Wallach's groundbreaking studies over decades of research have revealed numerous facts and truths about your health which are radically different from what you have been led to believe by the medical community. These findings have been distributed worldwide through the material on this phenomenal CD, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, with more than 200 million copies in circulation. Recorded during Dr. Wallach's lectures, this CD touches on a wide range of subjects including aging, heart disease, cholesterol, arthritis, cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, and pregnancy. In all, Dr. Wallach addresses 25 topics and engages in question and answer sessions with the audience. And his book is a comprehensive expansion of the material on the CD with over 400 pages of information which can significantly impact your quality and length of life. You'll learn how to identify 90 essential nutrients, many of which are not available in food. Prevent and reverse 412 diseases with vitamins, minerals, and herbs. Reach your genetic potential for a long and happy life. Eliminate a major portion of costly medical expenses. Take responsibility for your health and much, much more. Dr. Wallach's Dead Doctors Don't Lie 400-page book and multi-million selling CD can both be yours today for a gift of $40. It's not too early or too late to gain the knowledge and tools you must have to rescue and revolutionize your health and that of your family and loved ones. Call or order online today. Hello, Benny, my dear friend. It's Bill Prankert. Yes, I'm in Arctic Russia again. Oh, what an experience. <laughs> I wish you would be with me. I've been living with these people in their tent. I've been traveling with them on reindeer sleighs across the tundra, and it's been amazing. Do you know what? This, this family here, they're saved, they're filled with the Holy Ghost, they're flowing in what all God is doing, and they're excited about Jesus, just like people throughout the rest of the world. And I wish you could have been here the other night, Benny, because uh, I sat here and the father of this family said, thank you so much, thank you for coming. We didn't have any hope, we didn't have the gospel, we didn't have any Bibles, we didn't have any material before you came. And he said, thank you for sending workers. We are workers that we send out here, we support monthly they come out here and minister to these people and uh, we've been mentoring them we set up DVD churches we give them a DVD player a generator that they can use and uh, also sets of DVD teaching in their language and they're watching it and they're being mentored you'll love this the other night uh, they realized that several of them in this family were sick and needed healing some had injured themselves and there's no medical help out here so we prayed for for one person they got healed but then I told them they could do this. And so they laid hands on the sick. It was amazing, Benny, to see this, that some of the young men in this tent were laying hands on the other members of their family and they got healed. And I said, you got to take this healing message across Russia. Let me tell you something. I just want to thank you. You and your partners have helped us. You've really poured into us. You've made it possible for us to do many of the things we've been doing in the North. You came once to Arctic Canada. And I just want to say bless you. You've encouraged me as a friend. You poured into our ministry. And I want your partners to know that you are making a difference. Let me tell you, if these people are being reached through you and your ministry, then the whole world is being reached. And it's important. Jesus said he wouldn't return till the gospel goes to the ends of the earth. And guess what? Because of you and your partners and what we're doing in this ministry, the gospel is absolutely going to the ends of the earth. So I just want to say God bless you. Hope to see you soon.